Hi, it's Mike Toledo with the Toledo Group. Um, I wanted to talk today a little bit about buying a house on the market through agents or buying a house off the market, right, with no agents. Is that possible? If you're fortunate enough to find a house off market and you're able to find a house that's off market with a seller who's willing to sell it off market, um, I think that a great opportunity can be had, but it's pretty rare. Um, I don't see many scenarios where sellers are selling off market directly to the buyers without some type of an agent inter interaction because the truth is right now with the market as hot as it is, sellers don't want to leave any money on the table, right? And buyers want to get the house for as cheap as they can. They don't want to pay too much. So how do we, how do we fix that? Well, every single house that goes on the market has multiple offers right now. Every single house on the west side, Westwood Century City, selling for $100,000 to $150,000 over asking. So how do you get a seller and a buyer to meet in the middle and buy something without agents? It's, it's really hard. Um, I have a situation right now where uh, we have a client looking for a home and their sister has a friend who wants to sell her house. The sister's friend wants $2.2 million for the house. The house isn't worth $2.2 million. But you're getting an opportunity to buy this house off market, so in their mind, isn't that worth the extra money that you're paying? Because technically, if it goes on the market right now, the competition could drive that house up $100,000 $150,000. So why not just buy it off the market at a slightly higher price and then avoid the competition? In theory, that can work just fine, but they're still gonna have me represent them on the buy side. Um, and I'll probably end up representing the sell side too, just to keep it all in one house. But at the end of the day, I'm not sure what you do for a living, but this is what I do for a living. So. My client in this particular case is an attorney and he's very busy and the wife um, also works and they have three children. They don't have time to do their own deal. They don't even know what real estate in California looks like. They're from New York or from Utah or from another state. Not every state does real estate the same way. California is very unique uh, uh, in the way that real estate is, is transacted. No attorneys involved. Um, we can do dual agency here. It's, it's, it's a lot different in California. Um, so I would, even if you found something off market and someone was willing to sell it to you off market, I would still find an agent to represent you because there's a lot of things that come into play. Inspection on the house. What does the house look like? Did you get all the inspections that you needed? Did the seller disclose things properly, properly to you? There's just a tremendous amount of liability for, for lawsuits, for you know, a, a ton of things. I mean, you don't want to get into a house that you bought and find out that you forgot to check the sewer. Did you check the sewer? Do you know why you need to check the sewer? Do you know what the repercussions of checking the sewer or not checking the sewer are? These are the things that I think are important and, and why I don't suggest going about it off market, um, even though it would be great. Uh, in this market right now, generally speaking, an off market deal is really advantageous and fantastic for the buyer. It's not really a great thing for the seller because how does the seller know that he's realizing every single dollar he can actually get for the house if he doesn't put it on the market and let people compete? Right now, when you're having 20, 30, 40 offers, it's almost impossible to get a seller to sell the house off the market because how do I know you're paying me what everybody's gonna pay me? That makes sense. So it just depends on the market. If we're in a down market and there's, there's not this activity and it's a buyer's market and there's a ton of inventory, then I think there isn't an advantageous scenario where a seller can sell off, off market to a buyer who can buy. But right now in this competitive market, um, especially here in the Los Angeles market, I don't see why any seller would sell off market right now um, and not put it on the market and let all the people compete for it and see how high we can drive that, mar that, that price up. And that's just what's happening right now. Thank you for listening. This is Mike Toledo with the Toledo Group. Wanted to let you know that we do both buyer and seller representations. We do both buyer and seller representations on a dual agency as well. Um, the good thing about us is that we are a team, Tanya and Mike. So oftentimes, even if we are doing a dual agency, we create separation by having me represent the seller and Tanya represent the buyer. That way each party feels like, although we are on a team, they still have an individual mind representing them. And, 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 and I have almost thrown my wife out of escrow uh, on a deal where I represented the seller and she represented the buyer because it was in the best interest of the seller and that's who my focus is on. And then Tanya shifts her focus to the buyer and she does everything she can for the buyer. And we can really truly represent you guys in, a, in, in an honest way even within the dual agency, because that's the big question with dual agency, right? Am I being, is it, is it honest? Was your, was your obligation to the seller first? And are you helping me as the buyer or are you helping me as the buyer to help the seller? These are all the questions that come up. So if you do have a situation um, like that, or if you do need to buy a house or you want to sell your home or you have one off market and you have a friend you want to sell it to or your friend's offering you to sell their house, 
call us and let's have a discussion about the pluses and the minuses and the pros and cons and, and what, what can happen and what, what you should do. We're here to help.